How you doing guys? I'm back again with another video. So I wanted to take a look at the Beast Grip Mark II adapter. Now they had a version that was currently out a little while before, but it looked a little bit cheap, plasticky feeling, and it also seemed like it was a little bit finicky to set up, but they brought out their Mark II version now. This is their latest one that they've brought out and it is absolutely amazing. The build quality is top notch. It's made all out of aluminum and it really feels nice and they've really perfected the way that you, you, you actually install lenses and connect it to your phone. So if you've clicked on this video, you're probably thinking, Ricky, how can you turn your phone into a DSLR killer? You are talking absolute, you know what I mean? But you can, and you can actually get some really, really good footage out of your phones these days. The cameras on them are just getting unreal. They are getting so good, and the quality that you're gonna be able to get out of it is really, really amazing. And adding this little adapter on here is gonna allow you just to be able to get that nice creamy bokeh in the background when shooting video or even taking photos. So before any of you go down in the comment section saying, Ricky, you cannot match the quality of a DSLR, then just hear me out, I've got a few points I'm gonna chuck around during the video. So what is the DLF adapter and what does it do? Okay, so it essentially allows you to use Canon full frame lenses on your smartphone. It doesn't just have to be Canon, you can also get other adapters for Nikon, Sony, etc., etc. but this has got a Canon mount on it already. So the image is coming through that lens and it's hitting a focusing screen at the back of the DLF adapter. And then your phone is actually focusing on that focusing screen, and that is how you're getting the image onto your phone. You will need to download a third party app. I'm currently using Filmic Pro, and this has got a setting in it, which allows you to flip the image. Because when the image is coming through the lens and projecting onto that focusing screen, it's flipped, it's upside down. So that's why you need a third party app to be able to flip that image. Okay, so number one, my first point is gonna be the price. So if you go out and buy a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, say something like the GH5, which is about 1,600 pounds at the moment, and then that's not even including a lens, then you've got to get a lens, then you've got to get a memory card, it all adds up and you end up spending over two grand on a camera to start off with. With the B-Script DOF adapter Mark II, you can get this adapter, it's around 260 pounds. Pair that with the Yongnu 50mm f1.8 lens, which is around 42 pounds. So you're looking to say, 300 pounds there, plus a rig which you could pick up from newer, which is about 20 pounds, 320 pounds, and then you've got already got that phone in your pocket, what you're probably using. So therefore, for about 320 pounds, you can be getting near enough the quality of, say, one of those cameras, especially if you've got a high-end phone like the 10s Max Note 9 or one of the Huawei phones, then you're gonna be getting some serious images out of this. So talking about lenses, what lenses can you use with the DOF adapter? Now, you can use any, obviously, Canon full-frame lens out there, but if you wanted to use something like the Nikons or the Sonys, then you can buy an adapter that you can then adapt the Nikon lens to the Canon mount. And you don't have to go out there and spend like hundreds and hundreds of pounds on lenses. You can pick up some really good, cheap, second-hand lenses or even brand new lenses for next to nothing. All you've got to do is a little bit of research and shop around. So B-Script actually recommends that you don't use lenses that have got an aperture of 2.8 and above. So 2.8 is gonna be the highest aperture they recommend. Anything below that is gonna be perfectly fine, but anything above that, they don't tend to recommend. Now I have used lenses like this, like the Canon 18 to 55, and this starts at 4.5 to 5.5 on the aperture. So this is quite a dark lens, but if you're in half decent lighting, you can get some really nice images out of it. Another one I've got here is this little Canon lens. Now this is quite an old lens, to be honest with you. This is a Canon EF 28 to 80 mil lens with an aperture of 3.5 to 5.6. And I'll chuck a couple of clips up now. And this is what you get out of the look that you get out of this lens. It's really quite nice vintage. You even get a little bit of vignetting out the side there, but it really does look nice. So experiment with lenses. You don't have to get a full frame lens. Get a secondhand old lens and you'll get a nice vintage or such certain looks to your footage, which is gonna make it even more cinematic and nice to look at. So point number two is gonna be functionality. Now, what camera out there do you know that you can film, edit, color grade, and upload to YouTube all from that one device? If anybody knows of a camera out there that can do all of that, then please let me know in the comment section down below. But phones are becoming really versatile tools. I mean, you can film on it, so you can get some really nice footage with this adapter and the lenses on it. You can then put it into something, say like iMovie, or on an Android part, PowerDirector or KineMaster, you can edit the whole of it. 
If you use an iOS device, then there's an app that you can actually color grade your footage, which is really, really nice and really powerful. And if you're on Android, you can do slight color grading using KineMaster or PowerDirector, but it's not gonna be as powerful or as useful as the ones that you can get on iOS. And then once you've done all that to your project on your phone, you can then simply export that clip and upload it straight to YouTube. So overall functionality wise, you can do so much with your phones these days. They are really, really powerful tools. So I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be any cameras out there that can do such a thing as this, which is another reason why I think phone, this rig, DSLR killer. Okay, and then my final point is gonna be portability. Now, you may be thinking, oh, but you've got to carry that lens and that rig, and how is that portable? Well, at the end of the day, you've got your phone, which is in your pocket. You can use the camera on your phone when you want to use it. If you want to get some shallow depth of field, you can put it in the rig, which is not very big, and one lens that you could take with you is not going to take up much room as well. That could easily just fit in a backpack or a bag to be able to be carried around. But then if you're on a trip somewhere, you don't have to carry everything that you would carry with a camera. So you'd have to camera, you'd take all your lenses, you've got memory cards. To edit it, you'd need to take a laptop, chargers, so there's so much more that you'd have to take and carry around with you when you're taking a proper DSLR or mirrorless camera around. When as this, all you need is your phone, the camera rig itself, and a lens attached to the DOF adapter, and obviously your charging cables. But everything else can be filmed, edited, color graded, and uploaded to YouTube, just like that, no problems at all. So even though it's not as portable as just taking your phone with you, it's gonna be more portable than taking a DSLR and all the accessories that you need to go with that. So there you go guys, that was the DOF adapter Mark II made by B-Script. Tell me down in the comment section, what did you think about the video? What did you think about the image quality coming out of the lens of my phone? Please, I'd really appreciate uh, some feedback from you. I really, really would, because it's only gonna make me better at making videos for you to watch. So yeah, thanks very much, appreciate it. And once again, it's been an absolute pleasure. See you in the next one, peace.